Hi there, Coach Mike, and today we will be rounding decimals. Let's look at our problem. 26 and 735 thousandths. I wrote the same problem three times because we're going to solve it three times. We're going to solve it to the nearest hundredth. We're going to solve it to the nearest tenth and we're going to solve it to the nearest whole number. Well, let's start with the first one. Let's round to the nearest hundred. But first, we have to identify which digit is in the hundred. Hmm. Three is in the hundreds. And the five in the thousandths is going to tell the three what to do. Don't forget, we have a little trick. Zero, one, two, three, four, stay the same. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, go up. So the five is going to tell the three to go up. So the three becomes a four, and all the digits to the right become zero. Now we're going to drop the 26.7. So, 26 and 735 thousandths rounded to the nearest hundredth is 26 and 740 thousandths. Let's do the second problem. Well, we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so we have to find the digit in the tenths place. It's seven. Hmm. Who's going to tell the seven what to do? Is three in the hundreds. And the three is going to tell the seven to stay the same. All the digits after become zero. And we're going to drop the 26. So 26 and 735 thousandth rounded to the nearest tenth is 26 and 700 thousandths. Last problem. This time we're going to round to the nearest whole, to whole number. Hmm. Well, which number is that? Well, it's the number or the digit in the ones place. So, let's see. Hmm. Who's going to tell that six what to do? The seven in the tenths. The seven is going to tell the six in the ones to go up. So the six becomes a seven. All the digits to the right become a zero. Drop the two. 26 and 735 thousandths rounded to the nearest whole number is 27. And that concludes our lesson.